Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I would do a quick video, very quick video, on how to clean your plant leaves, which is what I've been doing ever since I saw a few other YouTubers do it. Um, so this is kind of me copying them. Um, but it's worked. So I thought that I would share it with my followers as well because it is awesome. And then it also helps to keep bugs away. So it acts as like a natural um, insecticide. So let's just get right on into it. I'm going to show you what I use. So I have a glass spray bottle here and I use a glass bottle because I'm also going to be using um, pure essential oil from doTERRA. So anytime you use an essential oil, it's always a good idea to use a glass bottle because the oils will break down plastic and that's not a good thing. At least that's what I've been told. Then I also am going to use some Dr. Browner's Pure Castile Soap. This also has peppermint in it, um, but this is all natural. It has no added it, it like you know ingredients in it. Um, nothing to make your hands soft or anything like that. So it's definitely pure. You don't want to use something like a dish soap or a hand soap because that has extra stuff in it for your skin that your plants will not want. I have had some water sitting out for the past 48 hours. This is just my regular tap water. I like to let it sit out so that all of the minerals and chlorine and whatever's in our tap water can evaporate out of it so it doesn't hurt the plant. Um, some people do, some people don't. I just, I don't know, like to just do that just for an additive measurement. Um, I'm going to add a couple of squirts of Dr. Browner's soap. Not too much. I'd say maybe a tablespoon worth. And then I'm going to add 10 drops of doTERRA's essential peppermint oil. If you guys are looking for anyone that sells doTERRA, I know a gal. All right. That looks good. I wasn't counting, but whatevs. All right, so now we're going to shake it up. And let's go clean some leaves. I have my spray bottle. I have my rag. Um, a good rag to use is also one of those microfiber cloths. Um, actually, Harley G is the first person I saw this. I'll link her video below as well. Um, this is still very soft, but I feel like microfiber is softer. So I would suggest using that if you have one. I don't. So we're just going to use this Ikea cloth. My Monstera Deliciosa is my largest leaf plant. So I figured it'd be easiest to show you on this, but I will do a couple other ones as well just to show you a variety. So let's get into it. Can you see me? Okay, so you want to just take your solution here and you're going to spray it on your washcloth and then you're simply just going to wipe down the leaf very carefully these leaves are so large they collect a lot of dust pretty quickly so i try to do this once a week um this is also a really good solution to spray into your soil because again anti-pesticide you want to make sure you clean the bottom of your leaf too. Perfect. I have been fortunate enough, maybe because I'm taking these precautionary measures, to not have any insect outbreaks. I did have a friend who had a um, fungus gnat breakout. Oh, one of my clips just fell. And she literally got so freaked out that she just tossed her plant out. <laughs> I don't blame her. I think I might have done the same thing. This will help with spider mites, mealybugs, fungus gnats, all of that. All right, so now that I did that, which I'm not completely done, I have the plant's pretty big. Um, I'm just gonna spray my sphagnum moss pole, spray inside the soil a little bit, and that should pretty much do it. They hate this stuff. I think it's the mint that they don't like either. And if you don't have peppermint, you can also use mint or anything that's 
mint. As long as it's pure organic essential oil. Okay. All right, let's go clean another one. Where's the button? This fiddle leaf has much larger leaves than my Monstera, but I just cleaned it. So I really don't have to clean it again. Um, it's not dusty, but we can just spray it down so I can show you. Just give it a quick little spritz. And that's it. I've also noticed that this doesn't leave a, like a, um, any markings or any like spots on the leaves. It dries pretty nicely, so that's fortunate. <laughs> I'm in a bookcase. Can you see me? Okay, this is my alocasia. Can you see her? Ooh, she looks so pretty on camera. Does anybody else use essential oils? I have been for about a year now and they're game changer. The stupid bookcase, sorry guys. You know, when you do YouTube videos, you kind of find weird places to prop up your camera. Currently what's happening. I have to show you these babies on here. Look at how cute. Hi, rubber tree plant. Let's do it. Look at this new growth. Can you see that? I just ordered this from the sill. If you haven't seen that video, head over and watch it. There is a little split in this leaf, which I'm a little bummed out about, but that's okay. Let's get her cleaned up a little bit here. Actually, the bottom of the leaves still have a little soil on them because I didn't do a great job cleaning it up. Just wanted to get it repotted. You just want to be careful not to break a leaf. Been there, done that. So with plants like these, I literally just spritz the leaves because who is cleaning a leaf that small? I mean, let's be real. So cleaning plants, not gonna lie, is time consuming. If you're a plant parent and you have plants, you know what I'm talking about. So if you're not ready for that dedication, then don't get a plant. Or get a plant that, you know, is totally okay, healthy, requires little to no care, that you can just literally just, I just sprayed my phone that you can just spritz a little bit here and there. You didn't hear it from me. Thanks so much for joining me in this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. All the time, all the time. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video if you like what you see. Really? Um, what else? I'm out of it today. I'll see you in my next one.